Okay, this one is about some problems that I've uh, come across on venting. Now right here we have three different types of L's. They're all 90 degree L's. The one on the left, that's a PVC short radius. Okay. This one here is an ABS short radius. By the way, this one is two and a half inch, the other is three inch. These are just ones I had laying around. Okay, that's also short radius. This one here is a sweep. Now if you look at that, obviously there's quite a bit of difference between these two fittings. And of course you put this one in here, it's probably even worse than this one as far as short radius. Okay, in some venting systems on gas furnaces, so these are all 90 plus efficiency furnaces, you are required to use sweeps. Now, the reason you use sweeps is because the air that's passing through this, remember this is air for uh, uh, combustion and air for uh, the vent gas. The inducer pulls air across the heat exchanger and shoots it out the pipe. Well, it's easier to get around a sweep because of the long radius. And you could easily see the difference between these two. The air on this one is going to come up, hit here, swirl around, and then move that way. The air on this one is going to tend to smoothly go around. Okay, if a manufacturer requires sweeps in their L's, you've got to use sweeps. If they tell you to use a short radius 90, then you can use a short radius 90. You can still use a sweep if you want to. Okay, the reason I'm talking about this, this is all manufacturer's instruction, guys. Uh, if you're uh, installing a piece of equipment, then uh, you have to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Uh, if it, the manufacturer's instructions specify sweeps and you put L's, or short radius L's, there's a good chance your pressure switch is not going to make. Because it has to build up too much pressure, there's too much back pressure in the pipe. There's also a limited number of L's. And that's all in manufacturer's instructions. And there's usually, unless it's a variable speed inducer, uh, there's a, pretty much a limit on the venting length. I mean, there's a limit on variable inducers too, but it's made way longer. So, if the manufacturer says use sweeps, then use sweeps. You come onto a piece of equipment that the pressure switch doesn't make, or makes part of the time, or something like, something like that, take a look at these L's and take a look at the manufacturer's instructions. Are they correct? Are they the correct L's for the job? If they're not, or if the length is too long, then you're going to have to deal with that problem. Because changing a pressure switch is not going to help if your venting's incorrect. When these furnaces first came out, I did a bunch of them in the 80s, and we were pretty sloppy on this stuff. And we had more problems with these silly things. They just wouldn't work. So we finally decided, well, maybe we should look at the instructions. And look at the instructions, found out our vent length was too long, uh, we had too many elbows, something like that. Okay. So you got to follow manufacturer's instructions if you're a service guy and you come onto one that is not making the pressure switch and uh, you can't find anything else wrong. Take a look at the venting. I mean, there could be a blockage in it. These things, it's real common um, for kids to go outside and stick toys in these things and uh, they won't make them at all. Uh, that, that's actually pretty common. You can put screens on the last fitting. However, if you live in the north, 
screens have a tendency to get iced up and then they don't work then either so it's a kind of a double-edged sword there so anyway look at the L's when you're working on a piece of equipment also when you're uh, looking at the venting is it the right size sometimes you can have uh, say like two and a half inch here if you're under you know 30 feet let's say but if you're up closer to 50 feet you're gonna have to have three inch so again manufacturers instructions and you have to have the right else okay let's took a take a look at a an installed vent okay there's the venting there uh, the fittings coming out of the furnace are two inch and manufacturers instructions say they go two inch up to the first L and that's what it does now it's going two and a half inch and uh, up and out of the structure now one of the things we want to look at these things is how level are they okay here I put a level on the vent pipe and you can see it is pitching back towards the furnace it has to pitch towards the furnace it does not pitch to the outside okay it's got to be a minimum quarter inch per foot that's probably more like better than a half okay the two things you're looking for is on a level if it's level it's not good uh, it has to be pitched back towards the appliance if it's sagging long runs unsupported will sag it only has to sag maybe a quarter of an inch and it'll run for a little while and then it will shut down so look for uh, venting pitching back towards the appliance at a minimum quarter inch per foot uh, sags in a line because it's not supported well and sizing and L's now I told you earlier go back a little bit here that you have to use sweeps if they say use sweeps those are not sweeps those are L's that is actually manufacturers instructions and appliance they say use short radius L's other appliances may not say that same thing they may say use sweeps and if they do they do so look at the manufacturer's instructions and make sure it's followed. Uh, you can also check the vacuum at the um, vacuum switch. And if you know the factory specs, then you can uh, set it to factory specs. Anyway, that's the venting uh, for these 90 plus furnaces and problems you run into with them.